right, we're about five minutes after, so we are going to get this started. Um, hello, thank you everyone for joining in today. This is the Healthy and Zeus Integration Overview Live class. Um, this is the new interoperability tech stack, and that's going to be the focus of today's conversation. Uh, we have the Zeus team today, the Healthy team, and we also have Well Links, and we'll run through our agenda shortly. Just to introduce you to this topic, uh, Zeus and Healthy have partnered together. Uh, Zeus is the only shared health data platform designed to accelerate healthcare data interoperability by providing easy to use patient data at the point of care. And what does this mean? This means that healthcare providers can have critical and historical patient data while working with patients to help facilitate better informed and holistic patient care. Healthy and Zeus have partnered together to bring Zeus patient data directly within the Healthy platform. Uh, this helps to further patient outcomes, patient care, and closes the gap in patient data. Today, we're discussing how this integration can be leveraged by healthy customers. A quick review of our agenda. We're gonna kick it off to talk about benefits of interoperability in healthcare. We're going to share more about Zeus and the patient data insights that are brought into the Healthy platform. We're going to do a screen share and show you what this integration looks live within the Healthy platform. We also are happy to be joined by Wellinks, a mutual customer of Zeus and Healthy, and really the pilot of this integration who have found value and really advocated for closing the patient data gap and bringing better data into the platform collectively through this tech stack. And we'll also tell you how to get started with enabling the integration. We will have a Q&A at the end. You are welcome to drop any questions that you may have into the Q&A box and we will moderate during the show. Introducing the Zeus team, uh, I would, we are joined today and very happy to have Sarah Keeley, our product marketing manager from Zeus, and also Michelle Chu, the senior director of product management at Zeus. Uh, Sarah, Michelle, I will turn to you and let you introduce yourselves a bit further. Hi, everyone. Excited to be here. As Stephanie said, I'm product marketing manager here at Zeus. Uh, my previous experience on the product team at Eleanor Health, which is a tech-enabled substance use provider organization. Um, I currently live in Boston and I've been a Celtics fan for about two to three years, uh, just when they have gotten good. So that's where I'm at. Uh, hey everyone, nice to meet you. Uh, Michelle, uh, I'm a senior director on our product team here at Zeus. I focus on our profile components as well as our EHR integrations. Uh, and then by way of background, have primarily focused in value-based care, um, for my entire career, first as a consultant with BCG, um, helping hospitals and payers shift to value, uh, then doing so in SAS at Clarify, then spent some time at Change Healthcare as well. Uh, I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio, and so uh, I uh, embody all of the stereotypes that you have of crazy Buckeye fans. <laughs> Fantastic. Great. And so we are actually going to turn it over to Sarah as she digs in a little deeper to the topic of interoperability and what this means for healthcare. Awesome. Thanks, Stephanie. Um, so what is healthcare data interoperability? Kind of starting at the very beginning, um, decided instead of pulling together a definition myself to ask ChatGPT what it thought healthcare data interoperability is. And I think it answer does really hit on all of the key points that we also usually bring up when discussing the landscape of interoperability. Um, you know, essentially healthcare data interoperability refers to the idea of unrelated healthcare providers being able to access all of the relevant medical history available for shared patients, which as ChatGPT calls out here, helps ensure better accuracy and improves patient care delivery. You know, today a lot of these provider systems really live in their own data silo. And that means they only have historical records for patients that have been treated within that system and not um, anything that's been seen outside of that system. And so the multiple sources piece here that ChatGPT also calls out is really key. Um, you know, we found in our research patients see on average 18 different physicians over the course of their life, all on different EHRs, different health systems. And so being able to aggregate this data across a wide range of sources, a wide range of networks is really crucial to ensure that the data is comprehensive. Um, 
especially because patients are moving and switching insurances. And so as everyone here, I'm sure knows, typically is seeing a lot of different types of physicians and has their data in a lot of different places. Um, and so on the topic of multiple sources, if we click forward, this is really how Zeus and Healthy think about interoperability across a wide range of sources. So pulled together here, a very non-exhaustive list of a lot of the different types of networks and data sources that we here at Zeus are starting to use um, to kind of bolster healthcare data interoperability. I think one of the big ones that comes to mind when you think of interoperability is these national networks of medical history data. So that's common and care quality. These are connected to most of the major EHRs across the country and are able to pull in, um, you know, like medical data, um, clinical data, things that are entered into the EMR in a structured way. Um, a lot of times though, there are gaps here. And so Zeus is also looking into more unique data partnerships with folks like Quest and LabCorp um, to get, you know, true kind of like point of source labs data for patients, things like that. Um, of course, by connecting to Healthy and other EHRs, we're able to access this real-time EHR data exchange. And then there are also was a pretty interesting sources around regional data exchanges, wearable data like Whoop and Fitbit. And all of this, the idea is to really bring this into a shared platform and make sure that providers can access all of this data that might be relevant to their patient's care. And so if we move to the next slide, why is healthcare data interoperability important? I think if we think about the current state where there really aren't good interoperability solutions, providers have two choices. And one of them, as we have here on the slide, is to treat patients without really having great access to their medical records ahead of time. Um, and instead, you know, spending time gathering that data at their first appointment. So you can see from the numbers here on the slide, you know, costs 350 bucks a day for 20 appointments. Um, physicians spend double the time documenting in the EHR versus with their patients. Um, their time could really be much better spent elsewhere. And so also can cause patients to be frustrated when they have to repeat themselves or complete a really long intake form. And so healthcare data interoperability and the lack of it really is harming um, how the health system operates today. And then on the next slide, you can see here, the other option that some providers take instead of kind of, you know, just collecting all of that data at the first appointment is to engage in some expensive, often inefficient manual solutions to tracking down data ahead of time. So for instance, you could, as a provider, decide to build um, your own network connections to all these data, which is what, you know, the Zeus team has spent a lot of time doing over the past year. Or so this is really expensive. It's really expensive to maintain, to initiate. There's also like an annual fee um, in terms of being a part of these networks. And so that's you know one very costly way that you can access this data instead of doing so manually. Um, there are also you know, chart chaser vendors out there. These also tend to be pretty expensive. We've seen that can be you know, between 25 to $80 per paper patient record um, just for one you know, patient's record from one system, you know, not including every system they've ever been a part of. And then there are some EHRs that are starting to improve their interoperability solutions, but they're still very document-based. Um, so you can see here as a representative screenshot, you can get access to the other clinical documents, but the data is unstructured, it's hard to access. Um, and so this also just isn't a great experience and you know takes a lot of time as we saw on the slide before. And so moving from the landscape into what Zeus does, um, this is where the new Zeus integration and Healthy comes into play. And so at Zeus, as Stephanie mentioned, we are building a shared health data platform connected to a range of national data networks and unique sources of health data. And we're starting with medical history, medications history, admit discharge transfer alerts, and labs history. And so we have all this data, we ingest it, store it on our platform, and then we take it and clean it up by standardizing it, crosswalking it to a specific terminology, organizing it by data type, and then surfacing it directly in the patient's healthy profile, as you can see from the screenshot here. And so this is really what we consider to be one of the most exciting aspects of Zeus. Other companies out there will you know, acquire this data and you know, make it available to you via API for your developers, but Zeus is really the only one that are taking this to the next step of cleaning up the data, putting it directly at the point of care for your clinicians and for your patients. Um, and so on the next slide, you can see that today we're starting with historical patient conditions and historical patient medications available in the healthy platform via Zeus's data. Um, and so we'll go into a much deeper demo with Michelle in a few slides, but 
Um, you can see here that with the patient conditions, Zeus organizes the table between conditions that are already a part of your healthy record and then conditions that we have found from external provider records that you can then have the choice of adding it to your record, dismissing it, kind of adding and changing however is best to you because we've heard you know, so many times that of course the most important part here is making sure that each practice still has key ownership over all of their data. Um, and you can see for both medications and conditions as well, there's a very detailed history for each data type that comes in. So you can know where this data is coming from, which you know, provider system reported it, there are any details around, you know, number of prescriptions remaining, anything like that. So we really want to make sure that you have access to all of the data you could possibly want right at your fingertips. And then also a summarized view to make sure you can move through this as quickly as you need to. And so as an early proof point, we're really excited about this. Um, we have some clinic clinical teams using Zeus and they've worked with us to both estimate the amount of time it takes them on average right now before using Zeus to um, you'll gather all of this medical data ahead of time. And then now that they've been using Zeus for some time, they've estimated the amount of time it takes on average with Zeus. And we found that they do save about a third of the time um, before and after. And so, you know, it used to take almost an hour for a staff member to gather all of the relevant data for a new patient for this particular practice. And then with Zeus, it takes about half an hour. Um, so we're really excited about this. They've said that you know, by saving all this time, they can now either, you know, free up their time to see more patients, bring their care to more people, or spend more time building relationships with their existing patients and really kind of strengthening that bond there and ultimately delivering better care. Um, so we're excited to kind of keep, keep seeing how this works for our early customers. All right. And with that, pass it over to Stephanie. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, we're going to do a screen share in just a second. And uh, in this section, we really just want to showcase and dig in a little bit further on what Sarah was showing in exactly how you're going to leverage uh, the Zeus patient data within the healthy platform and how it really does uh, provide real time insights uh, for your patients. And with that, we're going to switch on over to a screen share. So I'm going to stop screen sharing this presentation and uh, turn it over to Michelle. Great, can everyone see my screen? Fantastic. All right, for today's demo, let's imagine that I am a provider focused on chronic disease management. I am about to meet with Roger Nowak, a new patient for the first time, and I've pulled up Roger's profile to take a quick look before we meet. With the Zeus integration enabled, I'm going to see a few new things on the overview page. Uh, here, there's a new box underneath my usual medications overview, and there's two new boxes, conditions and encounter timeline. So for medications, right now, users should continue adding and editing within their existing medications and e-prescribing functionality. Uh, what the Zeus integration is providing is additional context on medication history in that summarized view that Sarah was mentioning. I'll dive deeper into that in a moment, uh, but it's worth calling out that we are working with Healthy towards uh, a single medications component that is fully integrated with both dose spot e-prescribing and Zeus medication history functionality. Uh, so stay tuned for that. In conditions, uh, you now actually have the ability to manage your own problem list, and you also have a summarized view of problems that were previously reported or diagnosed by other providers. Uh, and lastly, the encounter timeline is going to highlight um, your patient's previous health visits. This feature is currently still in beta. Um, but it's really going to be highlighting when, where, and for what patients have recently engaged with the health system. So now uh, let's take a look at Roger's health history, and we're going to see what we can learn and do with the Zeus integration. So typically, uh, if I, a provider, were meeting a patient for the first time, I wouldn't know very much about them beyond what's been provided in their intake form. However, uh, Zeus has already located a number of patient records for Roger, 
Uh, and so I have a much more informed starting point heading into our appointment. Uh, I'm going to start first with uh, conditions and take a look at his previously reported problems. I can see that he actually had an acute blood clot um, that was last reported in November. Um, it sounds like that might have been pretty serious. I'm going to click and view history. Uh, and from this, I can see that, uh, well, at least a good thing, this has only ever happened once to him previously. Um, I can open it up for details and I can see um, a little bit more information. It looks like this was reported by uh, a Rebecca Canaris um, over at City Health. Uh, and uh, if I want to, I can actually open up the source document from the provider. Um, so this is typically a continuity of care document, uh, an encounter summary um, from the actual provider. Uh, today's example is a demo, so it is not going to match up with Roger's story. Um, but just to quickly skim through to give you an idea, uh, in this case, um, there are things like allergies, uh, meds, immunizations, various lab results and vitals. Um, you can also see you know, lists of encounters or um, tests uh, for uh, many of these, we do see things like progress notes, uh, provider notes, and care plans, um, but really it just depends on uh, what the, the other organization decided to send over. Um, so imagine maybe I got some helpful context about uh, how Roger ended up um, over at City Health and a little bit more about that acute blood clot. Uh, let's see what else he has going on. Uh, well, he has diabetes and hypertension, um, and uh, given these are chronic, they're going to be critical to my care plan. Um, if I look in at view history at these, uh, I can see that there's actually been a, a number of different um, uh, encounters reported previously for several different providers. Um, and so this is clearly an, an ongoing issue for him. Um, similarly, with uh, hypertension, uh, it looks like this is a kind of an ongoing issue. This is going to be something that I'm going to want to track. Um, lastly, you know, erectile dysfunction is not really an area that uh, I'm going to focus too much on with him. So um, helpful to know, but probably not going to be relevant to our conversation. Uh, now, if I look at that medications history, I can actually see that he's been filling meds um, associated with that blood clot. These are blood thinners his hypertension, as well as his diabetes. Um, notably, it looks like his last fill for lisinopril and metformin um, might be actually about a month overdue. Uh, and if I click into the history for these, um, I can actually see a history of any sort of medications, documentation, prescriptions, and fills. I can see that his fills actually used to be very timely. I have no idea what's going on, um, but probably this is something we're gonna want to discuss. Um, lastly, that encounter timeline gives me a high level picture of uh, all of these different interactions visit by visit. Um, if I, uh, I can see that, you know, he's been speaking to a, a virtual care company with telemedicine visits for uh, those different, um, for his ED. And if I want to, again, I can click into those source documents. Um, and then here it looks like there was that diagnosis for his chronic conditions and, and there was that uh, blood clot episode. So now uh, let's say I'm actually speaking to Roger. Uh, I might confirm that he actually has diabetes and hypertension with him. I can go ahead and I can add those to my record. Um, I'm going to here just auto populates. If I want to, I can add in any sort of additional information on onset or abatement or notes. Uh, and when I hit save, it's going to be added to the record. Um, notice that it actually disappears from other provider records. Um, it's not that. Uh, it's not that, you know, that history isn't still available, it's still there, uh, but now I don't actually have to do kind of a mental double check between my list and everyone else's list. The other provider record section is just going to show me things that I'm missing. Um, I might, you know, uh, add hypertension as well. Uh, and, and maybe since, uh, since this isn't actually in my purview ED, I'm going to archive this and just hide this. Uh, and maybe I might even add new conditions. Um, let's say uh, Roger tells me he's having lots of migraines. Um, as I go up to meds, 
Um, here, as I mentioned, we're going to be adding meds in the existing medications component. So I might confirm that he is in fact uh, taking lisinopril and save it. I did not mark that as active. There. Uh, and then here I can dismiss that um, from my view uh, since I've now captured it in my medications record. Um, all right, and then after that, maybe I'll continue on with the remainder of our visit and talk about some other challenges with Roger. So that's a high level tour of kind of the key Zeus profile integration and features. Um, as a quick call out, right now this data is only available for uh, patients that you are um, treating um, and so qualify under uh, treatment use cases for HIPAA. Uh, when you have uh, the integration turned on, um, data doesn't get populated for patients who don't qualify. Um, and so currently what we do is run an initial backfill for uh, all of those patients that fall under that treatment use case. And thereafter, you can um, either query history for any new patients you want to add on or refresh data for existing patients um, by clicking on this request records button. All you're going to need to do is provide uh, a provider's um, name and NPI. Uh, you have to make sure that you kind of have critical demographic information to ping those networks, the key pieces being name, date of birth, uh, gender, and address. Uh, and if you do have phone and email, um, you know, the more information you have, uh, the more likely you are to find relevant records. Um, but then all you do is hit uh, save. I'm not going to hit it today for this demo. Uh, and that helps refresh your data. Um, so the cost for this integration with Healthy is um, 15 cents per active patient per month. Um, and that gives you kind of access to kind of our core um, HIEs that we work with. Uh, you can also upgrade to premium data sources, such as SureScripts for medication prescriptions and fills, um, that kind of premium lab data and ADT information that Sarah mentioned, et cetera. Um, and folks who do that also enjoy access to our APIs and can use um, data that we, we um, format for analytics um, to do population health use cases. Uh, all right, uh, I'm going to stop sharing and uh, pass it back. Thank you, Michelle. That was super fantastic. Let me find my way back. Here we go. Great. Everyone can see my screen again. Awesome. All right. I am actually going to pass this. Uh, we have Andrew from Wellinks. Uh, Sarah, I'll let you do the introductions, but Wellinks is a fantastic company. They focus on virtual COPD management. And uh, yeah, Sarah, do you want to do a quick intro for Andrew? Yeah, we're really excited to have Andrew joining us. Um, again, our first joint customer across the Zeus and Healthy integration. Andrew is a senior product designer at Wellings and has been really driving forward a lot of this integration. So he's worked really closely with both sides of our teams. Um, and I think can speak really well to both how the implementation process worked and then also the value that Wellings is starting to see using Zeus within Healthy. Um, so I will pass it over to Andrew. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining. Just wanted to give a, a quick overview of kind of what we do at Wellinks, and then we can dive more into the, the collaboration that we've been working on. Uh, so really, from a high level, Wellinks is a kind of a virtual first company focused on COPD management, so chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, um, and really trying to empower people to kind of do two things, to live more fully, and then also to breathe more freely. Um, so we do that in a couple different ways. And the way that the program is set up is that we work with uh, health plans, um, ECOs, other organizations, provider organizations to put on a program specifically for people with COPD um, with the goal of helping them to manage that condition and to uh, become more active and really taking control through guidance and some of the resources and support that we offer. So that comes through um, digital solutions through educational content, um, videos, as well as a mobile app that we've developed um, in kind of integration with, with Healthy. And also a, a big piece of it is health coaching that we have where we have one-on-one -on -one as well as group health coaching to really dive in with members and understand kind of what are the challenges that they're facing? How can we continue to guide them 
uh, keep them out of the hospital and make sure that they're you know, living as, as best as they can with a chronic condition like COPD. So that's kind of a high level overview of, of what we do. Um, in terms of the work with Healthy and Zeus, we initially had um, kind of right before I started, I've been with the company only about a year now, feels like longer. But in terms of that, we had started out um, migrating over to Healthy as more of our EHR um, database repository for a lot of that patient data. Um, this was last year. And as we were doing that, we also really started to look at how we can gather some of this data around our patients in a much more efficient manner than we've been doing currently. I think Sarah, Michelle, or someone had mentioned, um, you know, an hour long process to gather uh, all this different information from the patient, whether it's reconciling medications or about uh, conditions, things like that. And especially for our patients <clears throat> who tend to be older with a lot of comorbidities, a lot of medications, um, that can be a long process. That could be a, a more than one hour type of a thing. So any ways that we can both kind of do some of that work up front to preload the process and understand ahead of time, um, okay, what are the medications or conditions that we might be working with? That was kind of the genesis of thinking about how can we get some of that information up front before we even meet with the patient to get the right background that we need to know. And then also ongoing, how can we make sure that we're up to date on that patient's care through other providers um, or through the form of things like ADT notifications. So like I mentioned, we have kind of our own um, mobile app that we developed and we initially been working with Healthy. And as we started talking more with Healthy and started talking with Zeus and uh, everyone kind of started talking all together, we realized that a lot of the problems that we were gonna need to be solving around how do we integrate these different platforms together could actually be problems that other uh, Healthy customers um, and Zeus customers might also wanna be solving. So that's kind of where this whole idea, I think, really came together. Um, for us, when we're thinking about how we're kind of currently using these different programs, um, or sorry, these different pieces of the platform, the areas that we're initially focusing on um, are kind of the ones that we talked about beta testing. So conditions is a big area, medications and encounters. And then a new one that we're starting out with is around ADT admission discharge transfer notifications, where in our line of work, knowing if someone went to the hospital um, when it happens rather than you know days or weeks later means that we can try to intervene and help um, and make sure that we make that transition as, as smooth as possible versus trying to react you know once that's already happened and it's too late. So a lot of these areas, um, obviously we have a small you know sample size right now because we're still just getting off the ground um, with some of these studies and, and contracts, but it'll be exciting once we have some of these um, larger contracts that are in our pipeline right now to be able to have in place these systems to be able to really support that and use that as a, um, not necessarily a competitive advantage, but more of just kind of a table stakes, I think at, at some point of being able to say, hey, can we make sure that we can gather, you know, the full holistic view of what a patient uh, is going on with their life. And I think we have a visual here that might help yeah, so there's a lot, of, a lot of different pieces here going on, but if we think about kind of what our current architecture and how it's set up with these different integrations, we have our own kind of identity management um, internal data, database where we keep track of our members as well as different IDs across different platforms. So that's connected with a bunch of different systems that we have here. We have Salesforce on more of the marketing CRM side of things. Uh, we have Help Scout, which is more of our customer support. Um, we have some 3PL providers. We have Healthy as kind of our main uh, EHR platform. And then now we've obviously brought in Zeus uh, to help gather some of that more third-party patient data. We have that Zeus and Healthy are actually integrating together, which has saved our development team uh, you know, time, like I said, because this is a problem that other groups are going to need to solve as well. So the ability to have that information right in Healthy versus having to bounce back and forth between different systems um, is a powerful avenue. We also have another company called AWELL that we're working with more on some automation ideas um, that integrates with some of the things that Healthy is doing. And one of the areas that we're looking at is, as an example, if we imagine a, a person is admitted to a hospital and we get an ADT notification coming in from Zeus through, let's say, a webhook. Um, in this case, it could be absorbed or ingested through AWELL or ourself and can actually create, for example, a healthy form or a chart note with more information 
um, in healthy about that um, that record or what happened so that we could maybe discuss it or follow up or do something. So you can imagine how this data can kind of flow around within the system more operationally. And then it all kind of funnels together into a uh, data lake that we've built on AWS where all these different sources are coming together and it allows us to visualize, uh, to filter, to segment, and really ask the right questions around, okay, how are we performing and do things such as risk stratification of our members through the conditions, understanding um, patients that have different comorbidities, how they might need to be treated differently to make sure that we're accounting for that increased potential risk, um, as well as things around the um, sort of billing questions, making sure that patients have the right, uh, let's say ICD-10 codes, do we have documentation for that as well um, as we're going through different aspects. So a lot of different avenues that we're planning on kind of using this data. Right now, we're obviously still in sort of this, you know, initial early early beta test, but it's been exciting to um, work with the Zeus and the healthy teams and really become sort of collaborative um, in that process. It's been a lot of communication back and forth. So I think that's definitely one of the benefits um, of working with other teams that are kind of at similar stages. There's a lot of that flexibility. So our team um, and our clinical team being able to provide that feedback, um, I think has been valuable for the Zeus team, but also has been valuable for us uh, to be able to help guide some of that development. Awesome, Andrew, thank you so much. That was really enlightening and very helpful. So we really appreciate you and thank you for joining us today. Yeah, happy to be here. Fantastic. All right, Sarah, I think we're going to turn it back over to you uh, to discuss how we can get started, how customers can get started with uh, enabling the integration. Yep, absolutely. So very simple process. Um, basically, we will be sending out a follow-up email that you can reply to directly after this webinar. And you also have the option of emailing our business development manager, Harris, directly at hdomond at zeushealth.com, as you can see here on the screen. And then we'll just ask you to complete a very brief use case questionnaire. It's like a two minute Google form just to make sure that um, kind of using it within the regulatory requirements for using the networks that we connect to. And then from there, it really typically takes less than a week and often much faster to get started once you go from signing a contract to go live. Um, from there, we'll just ask for a few more basic pieces of information to make sure that we can register you with our network. And then from there, we'll have a brief kickoff call and you will be able to start using data um, the next day. So really excited about this integration. It's been really great working with the Healthy team, with the Wellings team. Um, and so we're excited to continue broadening the types of data we can make available within Healthy as well um, so that we can support even more use cases. Great. Thank you, Sarah. If anyone has questions, uh, we welcome you to drop it in the chat in the Q&A. Um, as mentioned, the next step will be, there'll be a follow-up email and you can follow the links to complete the, the questionnaire. Um, and, and it only takes a couple minutes and you will be able to then connect with the Zeus team directly and ask us any questions, Zeus and Healthy team, um, to as you're getting implemented and started. I think we have one question. Let's see. Yes, uh, this is recorded. So we will, in that follow-up email, we'll also include this presentation, this recording. So it will definitely be available to you. Great. Any other questions today? Fantastic. Then I just want to thank everyone Wellings team, Andrew, Zeus, Sarah, Michelle, it was really great connecting today. Um, thank you for bringing a focus to this topic and really showcasing how um, Healthy and Zeus can work together to help bring really important patient, patient data insights into the platform. So thank you all so much for your time today. Great. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.